You know, I think it's experience. You know, um, I've, I've played in a, a lot of European competitions. You know, um, coming up in the Euro Cup, the Euro League, my first year last year in Champions League, it was it was a great experience, and it was a very competitive league. And I think that anytime you play in such a competitive league, you focus more, you have more uh, motivation, more energy, and I think that's that's a part of it. You know, I, I'm a lot more motivated, a lot more focused in these games, and um, so I think it goes hand in hand that you play better the more focused you are. People might think it changed, but the only thing that changed was that uh, I, he told me to come off the bench, and I don't know why, but it's it's been a it's something I'm not used to, and it, but it's been a great feel. Um, I come in, and immediately he's he's got plays for me. He told me to play my game. Um, he lets me be really. He wants me to be aggressive. He's told me that I'm actually a little too unselfish, maybe a little too uh, you know not aggressive enough. So um, it's been a, it's been a great change for me. He's he's, he's really. Let me play my game. I come in with a clear mind, thinking just to be in attack mode, and, mm -hmm. and that helps. It. Um, you never want to be hesitant on the floor, and he's helped me to, uh, to to find that 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 aggressiveness, and that's why I think we've we've clicked. You know, uh, playing in his system. Well, I was gonna shoot the ball, but I saw my defender. He had fell down, so um, I knew I had a lot more time. So I said, let me just let me just uh, take my time and get my feet set and make sure this thing goes in, and uh, that's what happened on that. lost my speed the older I got, but uh, so I've had to use my, my hand speed, my shoulder fakes. I, I really take my time and try to set up my defender. That's one thing um, that I've, I've always had, but uh, now more at this age, I have to really get guys off balance because um, guys are more aggressive, more, more physical, more faster than me. So um, a lot of shoulder fakes, a lot of hesitations, just to get them off balance so that I can get, get the shot off. And um, it's really, uh, it's worked. I like playing off the pick. Um, usually, when it, this step back move is when I when I get a step on a defender, I know he's chasing me hard, so I try to set him up uh, to use his own momentum and kind of hit like a run by to try to get back in front of me. I just pull back. If I if I get a play in isolate if I get an isolation play, I usually like to play around the 45 or top of the key because that's you can see everything um, and the defender cannot limit you to one side. They can't push you to one side when you're on the top key. If you play in the corner, they can push you and you've got the baseline working as a, as a second defender. So I try to stay, uh, give myself as much opportunity as possible and that's at the top of the key and I can see everything and, and then I feel comfortable executing there. So. Absolutely, I think that's the best thing. Um, you, know, you, uh, you get a chance to analyze the game for the first you know, six, seven minutes and you see how the defense is playing, what guys are doing, what, where you can where you can find your spots and it definitely helps. Um, another thing that it is is usually when I come in the game, the, the other team is in foul trouble or in a bonus. So I know that any aggressive move, if they foul me, I'll go to the free throw line and as a shooter, um, the best way to get into a game is to get those free throws and, and you get that rhythm and then it's a good thing. I think it's a specialty of mine. You know, I, I love uh, working in those last few seconds because there's no better feeling than knowing you have to shoot the ball because then you're, you know, you're focused. There's no pressure to make it. So um, I, I like getting the ball in the, in the last seconds of a shot clock or at the end of the game, um, and I'm able to, you know, coach gives me free reign to to do what I want to do. My teammates know how I want to play, and um, I, I, I like working outside of the three-point line because, you know, then it's I'm just worrying about my defender. Um, a lot of times, and it's, uh, I've had a lot of success in it. And it's, it's usually the best way to get my shot. Um, I'm known uh, throughout Europe, you know, in Scan Report as a shooter. Um, I think I have a really good percentage, so defenders know that. Uh, so that, that works to my to my advantage. If I get, you know, they have to respect my shot. So if I show them I'm going to shoot, it usually brings the defender closer, and then I'm able to to get by him. So um, it's definitely something that I, I like to use. I feel good physically. The last two years better than I did the couple years before. You know, working with Yura uh, has been incredible for me. Um, he's really shown me a lot of things um, that I did wrong in, in the last, you know, 11, 12 years. And working with him, he, he's brought back a, a lot of things that I didn't think I was able to do just because of my, my knee or my age, whatever it was. And 
And now I'm, you know, I feel really good. I feel almost sometimes just as good as I did, you know, a few years back, five, six years ago. So I really contribute my success physically to, to Yara Drexler um, and the work he's done. So I, it's been a privilege and an honor to work with him. Oh yeah, I would definitely agree with that if if, uh, if my knee wasn't, uh, my knee's about 60 years old, you know? <laughs> so even though my body, the rest of my body is, I'm 35, you know, I feel good physically just sometimes, um, you know, just the, the knee, if I, if I do too much, uh, it, can, it lets me know and um, can get swollen at times. But um, we have a good understanding here in Jolene the, the I work really hard, but I also get the necessary time off. Um, we don't go hard, you know, like twice a day and stuff like that. And I'm able to try one practice a day in the weight room, stuff like that. I'm able to do that. I think that's been also why I've been playing so well at this age. Here is Thomas Kalati. Kalati can certainly shoot the three, which he does and knocks it down. Did. Echaniak, now Kalati. Did well, Palacios to get out to the perimeter. Kalati still shoots the three. Barely hear yourself think inside this arena as Florence drives, throws it back outside. Kalati, why not take even more time? Kalati knocks it down. We have the option to try and find Vagacevic. Kalati's got to throw up the three. Kalati does. Kalati makes. <laughs>